Hi everyone, Warren Phillips, Inogenics Wellness. Been getting some questions and some asks. Let me see your gym equipment. What do you have? Give me some insights on what you use it and why and how you use it within your life and how you can use it with some of your clients. The equipment I'm gonna show you today is absolutely amazing. I built, I believe, the perfect gym. Why? It has everything that you can get if you go to some of the larger fitness gyms, CrossFit gyms, yet it's in a small combined space or a smaller space a size of about um, a garage space, one car garage. And I'm gonna walk you through it, show you what I got, give you some insights and maybe some things that you wanna pick up next time you go shopping for some gym or for your birthday or for Christmas if someone's watching this for a loved one. So the first piece of equipment I'm gonna show you is one of my favorite pieces of equipment. It's a Concept 2 rower. These are great for aerobic fitness traditionally, but what I use it for mostly, sometimes I use it for aerobic, but mostly I use it for burst training or surge training or that HIIT training, high intensity training is probably the most common used language for it. And when you do HIIT training, for me personally, I use this when I do like a burst or a HIIT train. I only use this every other day and I like having options. That's why I have the Airdyne, um, Airdyne um, machine here by Schwinn. So this is the Airdyne um, Pro and they're both managed through the wind resistance. They're both great machines. I use them both for burst training. And again, with burst training, I like to do that every other day. Sometimes I start my workout with it. Sometimes I end my workout with it. But the reason I do it every other day is because when you do burst training, say one minute on, one minute off for seven sets at a certain rate, you're gonna burn a lot of glucose out of your cells. And what happens is for the next 24 to 30 to 48 hours, you'll burn fat to replace that glucose. So that's why I like burst training. That's why I use both of these pieces of equipment and some other burst training things that I do. These are my lower body. This is kind of both. Um, and that's where you, because you're burning all that glucose, you get your max rate heart rate up fast around the 85% range really quickly. These are great machines for that. And then I'll, let's talk about this cage before I talk about some of the stuff in the cage. Now, if you can get cages from many different companies like Ethos, you'll see that I use them, Rage, which I use some of their boxes and equipment. However, by the time I put in some of this, these extras that are on it, it would have been like three to four thousand dollars. This cage only cost me about seven, eight hundred dollars. And it came with dips, it came with you know things to put your weights on. Um, it didn't come with a bar, but it came with a, a squat rack. Huh. Maybe it's a little bit less expensive because a little piece of chrome just fell off there, but that's kind of funny. But it was worth it, man. It was way less expensive than the other things. It also has places you can do uh, monkey bars, chin-ups, pull-ups, whatever you want to do, and you can hang a bunch of stuff off that, as you can see, you can get your, your bands for band exercise and you can hook directly to here to do whatever you're looking to do. Kind of these. <laughs> some of those, I like to say, call them these and those, some of the workouts I really don't have names for. Um, but I also are able to hang my TRX um, products from this. So I do TRX from here as well. I love this cage. So let's talk about some of the things, and in particular, what's this hanging here? This is one of my favorite exercise and health biohacks. This is a Juve light. You can go to get, G-E-T, Juve, J-O-O-V.com and get one of these. These are a great biohack. I'm not a huge biohacker. I do a few things, and this is the one I do a lot. Red light, red light in the right, in the right frequency or the right range stimulates cellular energy or mitochondria energy in your body. So it literally feeds your cells and activates cellular energy. Cellular energy is necessary for detox. Obviously, cellular energy is awesome and important for everything you do, especially working out. So I love working out next to this. Now distance does matter. So to get an active dose, if you will, you need to be about 10 inches away for 10 to 15 minutes. But I'll do yoga maybe for 45 minutes over here or half hour, and I still, even though I have a bigger distance, I still do yoga in front of this, I'll do curls in front of this, I'll do band pool parts in front of this, I'll get as much exposure I can to this red light as possible, and sometimes, yes, I even do it naked. Just saying, because there is, research out there that for males and females, it's really healthy for hormone function, testosterone, things like that. So love my Juve light. I'm going to turn that off. Getjuve.com is where you can check, check that out. I got this equipment, some of it from Dick's Sporting Goods, some of it from, you know, um, directly from other uh, suppliers. Lots of different places. Just look for the best price. So I told you TRX. Love TRX for multiple things. I use them mainly. One of my favorite things to use them for is my back. Oh. So I'll do a lot of 
extensions this way. And then, what else would I do? I'll do um, declines with them like this. So there's lots of different things. They can come with all the instructions in a thousand exercises. If you don't need me to show you all. Get the guys on the video when you buy the unit. So I was trying to figure out you know, some other ways to show you here, but obviously the dip bars I love. Um, this mat, let me tell you, since we get back to yoga, what I love about this mat, it's natural rubber latex. These ones over here, these took off, because I'm a health guy, I'm, a, I'm the, you know, the non-toxic dad. These things, whatever they're made out of, spun petroleum, these reeked for like a year before I could even stand them. These are natural rubber, they just had a natural rubber smell. So here, um, let me show you what else I got here. I love this Ethos bench. Um, you can do incline, love this bench. I got this from Dix as well. You can find coupons online for like 25% off, really cool. Then I have these Garage Fit sandbags that I also love and use. And you can look up sandbag exercises. So you can do that. I have what's called a, like a slam ball from Rage. Um, so this is something you can really slam down hard and it won't break. Love my slam ball. I have the lighter um, dumbbells here from one up to five, and I think maybe even six pounds. And what I use those for is just a lot of um, rehab type exercises to keep my joints and tendons healthy. So multiple um, raises, and I also use them for um, extensions, of lateral and uh, posterior shoulder work. So things like that. So just lighter stuff. What else do we got here? Some more bands. I use these for different extensions as well. I'll wrap, I'll hook these on uh, to different areas, wrap them up, and do different different pulls and exercises. I actually like better just the plain the plain rubber bands. And I got these from Elite FTS or Elite Fitness. Let me see if I can find the name of those. Um, yeah, EliteFTS.com. They're great. I use these all the time. You can see Rebecca. We're gonna come back over to these, but look at all the bands that I have for different things. Some are for extending my knees, I'll use the thicker bands like this to um, just to stabilize my knee. There's lots of different band exercises, you can do a whole workout with them. But let's stay on this side, because I'm breaking my own rules here. This thing is called a yoke. Yokes are great for so many things. You can do um, pull-ups, chin-ups, things on this. Um, also, you can hook on other um, nylon bands like straps like this, hang two kettlebells from them, do carries, you can do rows. There's so many things you can do with the yoke. I love this. They use this a lot in rehab, chiropractic offices and physical therapy offices, offices but I love it for here. There's a lot of strength, a lot of mobility, and what I also like about it is it creates that proprioceptive stimulation where your body's offsetting, and when you're doing that, you're getting what I call like old man strength or farmer strength because it's not just looking good or getting bit big, it's about being functional and functionally fit and um, a lot of stability. So you can play with your kids, do things and not get injured. So I like a lot of these things that are more natural, that throw your body off, cause that proprioceptive stimulation so you're firing different muscle groups. So love that. Here are some of my, my plates. I like the Ethos plates. I also have some of the more traditional plates down here for benching, squatting, deadlifts, things of that nature, and I have plenty of weight here, not all that expensive, I got just enough for me and for most people. And then we come over here to make um, fitness fun and exciting. I used some of the, um, I used to do a lot of MMA stuff um, for a couple of years, so for my punching and kicking, but I make this into a workout as well, and I can just work this bag around and do stuff like that. So just, I like to do things that break up my workouts. That's why I like different ways to do burst training, and I'm gonna roll into another one in just a minute over here. So. Love this. Um, this is by um, Everlast. This is a great bag hanger if you don't want to put a hole in your ceiling. And plus, when you hit, when there's a hole in your ceiling, my wife who's shooting this video it shakes the whole house. This doesn't. Coming back here, um, this is also awesome. This is by Onnit. You can slam this. Um, this is also a slam type bag feature. This is made with like steel beads inside. I use it to help hold this down, and I also use it to do the next thing. Um, another way I use this too is it, I use it to drag, so if I'm doing exercises where I wanna drag stuff across my body, I'll do that as well. So it just drags for grip strength, so it's just one way you can use it as well. But I like to use it 
in my gym for my rope. Everyone has heard of ropes. This is a rage fitness rope. What I'll do is take this rope, wrap it around here. So you have both handles here and here. And then I'll grab this and slap it in the middle down here to hold it down. And that rope doesn't move. It's really secured right here. Of course, I get rid of these water bags that also hold my heavy bag in place. And as I pull out my rope, I do have these for the perfect push-up. Again, just giving your, your chest, your body, a different look and feel. You can get a little deeper when you're doing push-ups with these. So I like these. These are the perfect push-ups. These probably were as seen on TV <laughs> type of product, but I actually bought them way after they were popular. Coming over here, here's some more balls that I use, going from 12 pounds all the way up to 25 pounds, and I bought these from Power Systems and I bought the rack from Power Systems. I love this product. I use these balls for slamming. They're just big, heavy rubber balls. I use them for front slams. I'll use them for side slams, up and overs, catch them. When I catch them, I lock in and engage the abs. So these are also a great product. You can see that it's, um, it fits really well in this corner. I do have the old made, um, as seen on TV, door pull up. Um, if you have, this is what I did before I had a bigger space. I love this thing, it works awesome. And then the Power Block 50s. So these are Power Blocks. People are a little bit afraid of these. The negatives are on some of these, but this set is awesome. I absolutely love it. You can change the weight up to 50 pounds. I can curl with these. Woo! Um, and I can also bench press, and they don't affect my wrist. I have plenty of space in here, and for a smaller gym, I don't have enough room to put in another full rack like I have over here um, for my kettlebells, because I like kettlebells for uh, many things, hooking on my yoke. Uh, I do push-ups on these as well to get depth instead of the, um, the perfect push-ups. I do these for farmer's carries, lots of different things. So I love these. These are just a set that I bought online on Amazon and I uh, just bought them in sets and use them. And then outside, I'll use these heavier ones for the rope if I go outside or I find a pull or something and do that as well. And then of course, I have the baby ones for my kids so we can, we can work out together. Um, another item that I have, and I'll get onto some of the rollout foam rollers and different things I have, is I use these plain old sledges, huskies. I have a 10, I think a 15 pound sledge here. No, 10 and a 16 pound sledge. And I use these for slamming tire slams. So I have two tires out here of various heights. We can come out and I can show you that real quick. Just take a peek out there. So there's one of my shorter tires, one of my heavier tires over there. So those are great. Just set them outside your gym or inside your garage, but I use these for that. But another thing, this for that, these for that. Another thing I use a lot of, and I love these, is these steel maces. I'll use these for slamming too. And these ones are actually better. Did I just classify them? I said these ones, these ones, sounds, I am from, Pittsburgh originally, so I have some Yinzer type for all our Yinzers out there. God bless us all for our vocabulary. Um, these actually work better, in my opinion, because you don't get the twist from the head of the hammer. However, probably that twist of the head of the hammer is also going to help your forearms and create grip strength. Just be careful. You can, you can hurt yourself. So these ones, that doesn't happen. I use these for so many things. I'll use these for back squats. I'll use these for side lunges. And what these do is they create... Um, an off, offset in your muscles, so you have to balance and you have to engage your core. So there's lots of different ways to use these. Look them up online. There's lighter ones. I have lighter ones and people whip them around and do all kinds of crazy stuff. I don't do that as much. One of my favorite exercises is almost a burst exercise. I'll do a push-up push with them and then lift with a little bit of a heavier one. That's creating that twist and torque, getting that functional fitness. And then I'll switch sides and do it again. So these are great. Um, I have some kind of chiropractic tools underneath here as well. This is overkill with activator guns from working on my hips. So I do have lots of cool tools like that. You can't get this. These, um, those would be tough for just the general public to buy. And then I have a vibrocussor, which is a vibrating gun that helps break up um, my fascial tissue. So I have different sizes of these. I mean, I have a big boy. Like a, this is a 40, a 40 pounder. This one's a 
It's the one I use the most, it's a 15 pounder, uh, similar to the same um, weight as my larger hammer. So I love these, and these are, I think all these are on it except for one. So this is the on it brand, which is a really popular brand right now. So that's that. And then moving over here, here's my bionic body balls. I use these balls for everything from slams. These are good slam balls, the bionic balls that hold together. I do them for front slams, side slams. Um, I even do them for push-ups where I grab and squeeze and engage my core and my arms more. So I love these. And you know, squats, there's so many things you can do with balls. I like these bionic balls a lot. And they're sitting in another Ethos product um, that's made for carrying dumbbells and balls like this. And they have their own brands as well, but they're pretty expensive. Um, I also have a VTS, which is a 10 pounder. I don't really like these as much. This, was, this one's kind of fun to squeeze. It's a good product as well, but I, it's held up and I've thrown this one around a lot and it's not breaking up. I also have an ab wheel, which I love and everybody should have. One of these bad boys. So this one's a 75 um, centimeter um, ball, and these are great for so many things. Core exercises, uh, I mean, you name it. You can do a lot of uh, exercises on these, and when you're unstable, that creates that proprioceptive stimulation. And underneath here, I have some of my dumbbells that I don't use as much anymore since I got the the racks over there with the power, um, they call them power, the power, uh, power balls. They're awesome. So I'm gonna just leave this out and move through this more quickly. I have other equipment in here. Um, this roller to roll out that IT band. It's always sore, different areas, your upper glutes, uh, lots of things. And that gets into foam rollers. I think one foam roller would be awesome. Obviously some, some yoga blocks are awesome to have. I love the pork ones. And then you can also have things to roll out your feet because they get sore, especially if you work out barefoot. You've got to be very careful that you don't um, tear when you're doing a lot of barefoot working out. You can definitely tear and hurt muscles. So I have several different ones of these for rolling out on my feet. Don't want to get plantar fasciitis. It's super painful. I've had it for a couple of years and finally over after time got rid of it. I have my, and this is what I'm going to show you, and this combination is really good. I have my, my gloves in here, my extra things. This is extra stuff for the yoke. So I have these things, instead of leaving them lay all over the house and my wife gets upset, I bought these Home Essential canvas bags. I think I got these either on Wayfair or on Amazon.com. So these are great and they look really cool in my opinion. And then as you progress, you can get a, um, a vest, um, a weighted vest, and start doing your push-ups, sit-ups, many different things with the weighted vest, so I think that's something down the road that you'll need as you progress. And then rage boxes, of course boxes are really great for doing jumps, lunges, step ups, there's so many things you can do with these things, so they're really great. Is that about it in this gym? I think we nailed pretty much all of that. And the last thing I want to show you is after I do a burst training, one thing I love to do is when my body's hot and heated, and I'm sweating, my lymphatic's moving, I'm detoxing. So I like to take Cyto Detox before I do that, which is the detoxification product, Clean Up Toilet Light product. I like to use that um, while I'm working out because I'm, I need something in me as I'm moving toxins and creating all that blood flow because I'm sedentary a lot of the times because I'm sitting on my computer not exercising all the time unless I'm having a lot of client load or someone's working out with me or I'm shooting videos. So I like to get very, very hot, increase that core temperature, then go into this sauna here, or I'll go into my far infrared sauna by sunlight. Sun yeah, by sunlight. So that's a far infrared. But that really gets me sweating, and then I have the detoxification the agent, cyto detox in my body. Sometimes I'll take a product bind a half hour before that, just to catch those toxins that are moving from your lymphatic into your gut. That's going to move out um, through your colon. So. But after that, if you really want to increase hormone and optimize even a little bit more, you can do the ice bath, which I love. So, fill this up with water out here. Um, country Line got this at a town and country um, farm and tractor, or tractor supply type place, fill it up with water, some ice. After that, do a cold, a cold bath. Really, really great for muscle recovery, hormone optimization, fat burning. It's a great combination. So 
I hope that I didn't overwhelm you with all this stuff. There's a lot of stuff, but if you're gonna equip your gym out, this wasn't that expensive. The most expensive things here, honestly, were one, each of these, and they're, I got these for right around, I think about a thousand bucks each, and this was under a thousand, but all this other stuff, you add it up, you could probably have all of this for about $5,000, I would say. So, an expensive, expensive as an inexpensive car, but what would you rather invest into, a car or your body? My choice is to drive the least expensive car and invest in your health and your body. Warren Phillips here for Energenics Wellness. I hope you find this video valuable.